It's a vlog. So what are we doing? We are test driving a Honda Odyssey right now. Test driving, you say? Doesn't seem like a test drive. There's no one else in here but us two. <laughs> and babies. How's that work out? So obviously we are test driving a Honda Odyssey because having two kids and space is hard when it comes to a sedan. Sedans are okay, but when you have two kids it's extremely tight and don't really like that. So we're like, hmm, we should go look at a bigger car. And for the longest time we were thinking SUV might work. And then one day it was like, huh, minivans are cool too. And I was always like, no, I hate minivans. I don't even want to think about it. But after a little bit of time, I was like, you know what? I think she's right. Minivans might be good. So we're driving a Honda Odyssey, which I always actually kind of liked. I didn't want to admit it because I'm a sports car person. You never want to think about a minivan because he doesn't like the sense of soccer moms. It's like the sense of soccer mom is more of just the fact of like the stigma America has around them and like how when you have a minivan you're either you know either a soccer mom or like a crazy driver or some like weirdo. Like people don't think of it as a useful car they just see it as a burden. In other words we're back. Sure after that long intro <laughs> of nothingness. How have you guys been doing? Oh, they haven't even seen baby Scott yet. No, you haven't. We'll pull over somewhere so they can see them. Oh, you want to see the babies. So what do you think of the Odyssey? I really like it. But I always did like minivans because my grandmother had one. So I'm liking this. Let's turn that off real quick before it goes off. I hope I got it. Yeah, I guess I'll just bring it out right This has the blind side monitor. Whenever you turn the right turn signal on, it's really nice. Yeah, I think a lot of Hondas actually do have that once you hit a certain trim level, which is like one up from base, and it's so helpful. You don't even realize it until you use it more than just once. And like, oh, it's a cool feature. You can turn it off with the near the steering wheel, so if you don't want to see it every time you're turning right, it'll it won't show up unless you want it, which is nice. When you're just coasting, there's also an eco, and on the brake, eco pops up, so that way you're getting the max fuel economy that you can get, and then obviously whenever you start putting your foot on the gas, it goes away, which is nice that it does it by itself. It's just letting you know, hey, you're saving fuel, which minivans don't have the greatest fuel economy compared to, you know, a Prius, but they still do good for how big the car they are. So we're also thinking of trying a Kia Sedona, which is another minivan, which it might happen, it might not, we'll see, because we like this one a lot. I'm liking this one far too much. I'm also loving these controls right here, so I can set the fan for the kids, and I can set the different speeds and everything else, so like, the baby's back there, so I'll probably just turn that down to one so he doesn't get too warm, and then just turn the air down. And you can lock it, and so on and so forth. Dude, this thing is quicker than you would expect. If we do end up getting this, then we have to consider another car for me. Because who's to say I'm gonna have the car I have in a month or two? It is 20 after three right now, and we- Are going uh, to visit somebody. And we're also going to visit somebody at 5.30 around there, so kinda wanna make this a little bit quicker. Let's go check on the babies. Oh, uh, we, have, we have a sleeping baby. This person's actually awake. Little girl. Say hi, Ashley. Ah. You camera shy. Yeah. Okay. Back in this thing. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the dealership. Actually, we didn't even say where we were going. It's a little place, it's only in Pittsburgh, well not Pittsburgh, only in um, Pennsylvania and 
one spot in New Jersey. It's called Car Sense. It's pretty much, it's like a dealership, but not really. Because you can openly drive cars and not have to worry about them being with you and taking you on a little circle track that teaches you nothing about the car and then you're done. You can actually take it out and do whatever you want. You can have it out for five hours. They don't care as long as you bring it back in one piece. Before nine. Before nine o'clock, obviously you can't keep it out after that. I feel like this channel turned into car vlogging more than just like normal vlogging. We're driving to go get something to eat after we visit his Aunt Vicky mm -hmm. and his uncle. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of fun. We had a nice discussion about a lot of stuff. Just insight into parenting and people's reactions to certain things. Opinions not mattering or if they do. How to combat it if it doesn't like kind of mean anything to you, pretty much. No, we're going to Karani Brothers. If you don't know what Karani Brothers is, then look surprise me because you don't live in Pittsburgh. But a lot of people do know about it. It's a sandwich place that has wings and it's awesome. It's hard to describe Karani's, honestly. Like, if they have, it's just a normal, like, sandwiches and wings and pizza and they have a bar and all that but like where's Tyler when you need him? <laughs> you get that reference? I mean you should but if you get that reference then you get a cookie. I'll send you a cookie. <laughs> Personally made by me. <laughs> Will it be any good? I don't know you gotta find out. I highly doubt that. Shut up. I'll probably be like Pillsbury dough or something. <laughs> I'll just send you, a, send you a slab of cookie dough right here. There's your cookie. <laughs> hey guys, so we didn't really end the video yesterday, but I wanted to make just a quick little clip before I post the new video that's coming out. Pretty much what happened yesterday is after we went to Mike's and aunt and uncle's, we went out to Permani's and we got some food and then he watched a video on some IT work that he wants to start doing. Then I came home and I uh, kind of just went to bed. There wasn't really anything that happened. So we are officially back. We are starting to vlog more often. It's just, it's a little bit crazy right now with everything that's going on. We don't always have the time to sit down and edit and vlog and do so on and so forth. But we're trying our hardest. Hopefully once a week we will be able to get some videos out. But I hope you enjoy enjoyed this vlog if you did please leave a comment like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one